What's up guys? Welcome back to Ride the Bean. What's up? Today is uh, our last day together. A little bit sad. We've been together now for it, two months, two and a half months. Yeah, two and a half. On the road and... Yeah. It's a little bit uh, more, uh, if you count the time in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's three months maybe. Yeah. And uh, well, before anything, <laughs> coffee. <laughs> and yeah, so we thought we um, would maybe have a little bit of a chat about um, what we've experienced and uh, and done so far on this trip. Yep. There you go. Thank you. Coffee. <laughs> Forty-eight. It's not too hot. Yeah. The last few days have been just insanely hot. Especially yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, how has this trip been for you? Like, this was uh, this was your sort of first first motorcycle trip. Yeah. Did it live up to your expectations? Mm, it was like I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Because I do the movie in my head. Uh, <laughs> A lot of time, uh, even before when I want to to travel with my bike and I pass my lessons, I imagine the stuff like this. Yeah. I I do a little bit thing differently if I do that alone, but in a way it's it's like this. Good. No surprises. Has it been a good experience? Good experience, but uh, confirm some of thing <laughs> I don't like especially. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I don't discover anything really, yeah, really interesting, interesting for me. You didn't? No. Were you hoping to? A little bit, yeah. Like no. what, what, what would be interesting, I don't know. interesting for you? I don't know, something not common, just, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't search for anything special, but... Mm. I think it's because the yeah because first of all I don't really like Spain. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I say it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Why don't you like Spain? Many reasons. <laughs> the food. <laughs> the hour of the food. It just is. It's can everywhere. Like they eat chorizo, fouet, and that's it. <laughs> you, you see the menu on the restaurants is always the fucking same. It seems like everything is closed. The, yeah. It's so strange. We have a siesta here in Spain uh, between uh, about one o'clock and uh, four o'clock, five o'clock. Everything is closed because people start to work in the morning, then they have siesta and then they work in the evening again. When I have the energy for doing something, the shop is closed. <laughs> yeah. Every time. If it's early in the morning, I just sleep. <laughs> and late, no, I don't, I don't. It's not the time anymore, so. Well, it's completely fucked for me. <laughs> <laughs> the it's a different culture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't say it's bad. I say I don't like it. It's just my opinion. Yeah. Anything uh, else you don't like about Spain? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, the people don't talk normally. They what? yell. <laughs> what do you mean? They yell every time. When they speak, <laughs> they don't speak. Just normally, like a little chat. No. You hear a discussion like 10 kilometers of salary. <laughs> they don't quiet. Well, it's the Latin people, I guess. <laughs> they drive extremely bad. Extremely bad. What? Yeah. what are you talking about? I, I think they drive fine. Amazing. It's how is it bad? I haven't a, had one bad experience. It's a jungle. <laughs> I have ten thousand examples. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And the other thing is, I think it's because the um, it's not so different than the south of France. Like the nature and stuff like this. This is why for me it's not wow. At least again, it's just me. Yep. 
uh, 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 it's beautiful, but it's not wow. If tomorrow I go to Iceland or very something very different, mm. yes, but Spain is just. Were you expecting something else? No. no. What about Portugal? We've also been to Portugal. Portugal is a little bit different. Oh yeah, I hate the the fact that they don't have a big supermarket or stuff like this. But they do. Yeah, they do. Uh, they have the same as in France. No, no, it's not true. <laughs> they have one, and the other one is uh, three uh, three uh, hundred kilometers uh, after. Uh, well, no, you just yes, haven't yes. been in them. No. We, <laughs> they have the same stores there, the same chain. In Portugal, they have the same, yes. Uh, as in, in Spain France, too. But Spain, no. Spain is just a little little shop, like. It's, it's just so, so small. <laughs> there are nothing in, in it. Like what, nothing what, in it. <laughs> what don't you like about the food? The food is not, the diversity of the food is terrible. But it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. No. Yeah, they eat all, all the time the same thing. Like, stop eating so much meat, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die of cancer. <laughs> no, no, don't eat so much meat. It's. Yeah, they eat a lot of meat here. Wow. That's true. <laughs> but I understand it's. Uh, it's the country is more poor than France and the university. Uh, but fuck, uh, the food is difficult. <laughs> Oh. Even in, a, in a, when we find, a, I don't call that supermarket, when we find the store for the food, the choice is so poor. So uh, the food is a real struggle for me in this trip. Yeah, for, for that, yes. <laughs> that's, oh. that's so funny. Are you, I think you're the first person I've heard who say Spain doesn't have food, good food. <laughs> yeah, and I really mean it. Like, really, really, really. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't say, I don't say, because I like every food in the world, like, I eat everything. Doesn't seem like it, but I eat everything. The, the, I don't say it's bad for something, yes, I say it's bad, but it's the diversity. The diversity of the food is, oof. yeah, it's so poor. Well, okay. You eat, you, you try many restaurants, at the two opposite of Spain, you find the same thing in the menu. All the time. <laughs> it's annoying. It's annoying. Well, <laughs> has there been any, any positive experiences on this trip? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the travel uh, himself, it's, it's good. The, what have you liked about this? What have you enjoyed? Um, spending time with you, spending time with on my bike, riding. I'm not very difficult, but <laughs> let me annoy by everything. But <laughs> for me, a good trip is just if I ride like eight hours a day and passing through something. And for me, it's good. Yeah. It's enough. You don't like to stop in places. I like to stop, but I hate city. Like, uh, That's where we are a little bit different. Like, I don't really like cities either, but I enjoy spending like a couple of days in the city and exploring the city. And then I, I like to leave and be out in nature again. So I like the, 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 the two combination. Yeah. I don't like too much of, uh, of one thing, but I like having the, the, yeah. the, 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 yeah, the diversity of, of places. For me, for going in the city, uh, I need to be in a really good mood, like the best mood of my life. Yeah, <laughs> Lisbon was <laughs> that was uh, yeah an experience. It's dirty as shit. <laughs> it's dirty. Yeah, it's fucking dirty. It's not that dirty. Yeah, you see trash everywhere in every corner. Like it's fucking dirty. It's my piece. Like <laughs> so uh, today now we uh, we are splitting up. You're heading uh, north in Spain and I'm heading back to Lisbon uh, for a couple of days because I want to see a little bit more of the city and there are a few more coffee shops I'd like to visit. But apart from Lisbon, mm. what is your impression of Portugal? I think I prefer Portugal than Spain. Um, 
I really want to see more of the Portugal, but now I don't have many times. I need to go back. Uh, but I really want to see the north of Portugal, especially with some people there tell it's very different mm. between the south and the, and the north. Um, and the road, I think the road is amazing. The road, the off road, uh, the two parts of the. Yeah, so, of some, the bike. some uh, a lot more challenging off road mm. in the north of Portugal, I think. How, how has the off roading part been for you? Like, you, you started, when we started this trip, yeah. you had never ever put your tires on yeah. dirt. Yeah. Go, go, go! Uh, and now you've been riding quite a lot of off-road. We've been doing the Tets, we've crossed the Pyrenees. We've done quite a lot. It's Ooh. difficult. It's difficult. I don't have the same feeling of progression than on road. Yeah, maybe it's because we don't do the same amount of time in road and off-road, yes. But still, it's very, it's very, it's very tricky, especially with the weight of <laughs> GB. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I really need, uh, when I go back to France, I, I practice, I want to become better because for me, um, at least try to say I'm a good rider. I need to do both pretty well. Mm. Because if I don't do both pretty well, for me, I'm just... Yeah, I think you're, right there. <laughs> you're a, a very much a perfectionist. And if you don't feel like you're doing something perfect, yeah. you don't, don't like doing it. Yeah, exactly. You, you, so you can't really enjoy the learning enjoy process, it. do you? I, I can enjoy it when I see the progression. And like I say, for many things, I see my progression and my progression is very fast. I think your expectation of yourself is is a bit too high. You expect a bit too much too soon. Uh, I know. I'm, I know. The the my um, my limit of road is because of my fear of hurting myself. Yeah. If tomorrow uh, we, I need to do the same thing, but if I fall, I know I risk nothing. I do stupid shit like in ten minutes. So you overthink quite easily when it comes to to yeah those things. Yeah. Because on road I trust myself, off road I don't trust myself. But it's uh, do you feel like you've progressed off road? Do you feel conf more confident now than you did a month ago or two? I'm more confident, yes, but it's a big world. Thank you. It's a big world. For me, for really enjoy it, I need to be good at it. <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's what makes it difficult. Yeah. Because uh, for me, I enjoy the learning process. I enjoy failing, and I enjoy yeah, I that. like if I fall, that's something I can learn from. Yeah, I understand, and it's true. But I hate that because for me, it's. A, See, you fall again, you're so bad. See, you fall again, you're so bad. See, you this is again, what I meant. So when I, every time I've, I've, I've always said you, you, you get in your head too much. This is what I meant in the Pyrenees too. It's skill. You are, you are so much better than you think you are. You keep telling yourself, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. Yeah, of, of course. course you fail. Of course. Mate. But stop saying that. Say, start, start saying in yeah, your but, head, I can do this, I can do this. But it's yeah, I know. Because um, I think the viewers can see it. They, they've... They see your progression. They see that you're getting better. Your your stance on the bike, the way you move through the terrain, it it looks like you're doing it with more confidence. Mm. But you don't feel like you are. No. And that was kind of a and, little. And uh, the day I feel confident on, and uh, you're gonna really see it. Yeah. Yeah. No, this was this was also a little bit of the 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 debate in the mountains in the Pyrenees where a lot of you guys said uh, I was pushing him too much and I was uh, being rude and mean <laughs> and everything uh, it was because he gets in his head too much 
Mm. And I could see, based on what we had done, the writing we had done before, I could see that you were capable of doing it. Uh, and so that's why I kept pushing mm. like that. And do you feel like uh, I've pushed you too much on this trip? No. No, it's just a bit feel like this because I'm not really happy when we do a fraud because, like I say, uh, for me, I'm so bad at it. So, but so you, you're never gonna get better unless you do it. So yeah, <laughs> but for me, I need to. I, I, I try to do it like, not the best way, um, because like I, I, we we say in the, some of the video, um, I want to do that right with beginning with. A, uh, I think I, I, I'm can, I can learn with that one, but without the luggage, mm. first of all. Uh, but I, I really need to practice with some professional to make sure the basics is good because even that I'm not really sure. And yeah, when he says, okay, you do that good, you do that bad, you need to change that, but you need to keep that. I, I begin to feel more confident because he tells me, okay, that is good. It's just practice now. So, so for my brain, okay, you do that good, even if you, you think it's not. The guy says it's good, so it's good. You need confirmation from someone else before you can feel yeah. like you're doing something good. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Why, why don't you trust your own uh, instincts in, in, in your learning process? Because... All it's always nice to have a teacher, but... Yeah, because all the things I do all my life, I need to, when you learn something, you learn something for a, uh, um, a person actually really know what he's actually doing. So if you need to change the tires of your bike, for me, I need to learn for someone. When you learn to drive a car, you learn for someone. It's, it's the thing for... You, but you only learn the, the, like, what you actually learn is when you do it yourself. It's not... Having someone there is helpful, but it it shouldn't it shouldn't be required for you to be able to have fun and and practice and and try to do things yourself. Yeah, I can do that, but after. <laughs> okay. After. It, it, absolutely, it's and helpful. And after you, you can, it's it's like for me, it's like this for everything. Um, even when you, you have a chat with someone with an opinion for something, you, you need to stop talking, listen first, you learn from people, and after you have your opinion. Yeah. Not before. So it's, it's a little bit the same for me. So. But yeah, I think you, you, you seem to require a much higher uh, level from the get-go, then, like you, you, you can't just you can't start from scratch by yourself no. and just learn something. No, you have to have someone show it to you before you can feel confident enough yeah. to try yourself. Yeah. And after, when I have the basics, I can develop my own skill. Is it that, like with absolutely everything? Yeah. So you don't develop an interest in something and and figure it out yourself ever. From scratch, no. Hmm. I have the interest of what I want to do. And if it's something I need to learn, because it's, yeah, I try someone to teach me the basic and stuff like this. And after, uh, I can do that alone and develop my own skin. Interesting. So before, you, before we started this trip, did you have any goals for yourself that you wanted to achieve? And have you achieved them? Mm. Be better on the bike. <laughs> and you don't feel like you are? <laughs> on road, yes. On road, I feel it. Of course, I don't really feel it. But on road, yes. It's a little bit better. But I have to Are you going to do any off-road on, on your way back to... Uh, I don't to know. Very gentle, I think. Because uh, the difficult part is... If I fall now, it's going to be a little bit more tricky <laughs> uh, to pick up the bike. I can pick up the bike, but I need to remove some yeah. some shit. Um, 
Maybe I will see. Depending on my mood. <laughs> what route are you planning to take home? Mm, I don't know because I want. Uh, I'm really a bit down of Spain, like get very bored of Spain. So I don't know. I think I go straight. Are you going back to Barcelona? And then yeah. yeah. Go back to Barcelona to. We've met a lot of interesting people on this journey. Mm. What have you? What have been your experience with that? With them? It's really cool. Um, but yeah, for me, it's difficult to make some real connection. I'm not capable of making a lot of connection, like really deep. Because if I make a connection, it needs to be really deep. Why? Why does it it's, need it's to be? It's the same again. It's because. <laughs> If it's not, it's no no point. If I meet someone, okay, I can uh, I can have an experience, but um, yeah, if I need, if I give my time to someone, I don't want to be uh, yeah. I need to feel a real connection because for me it's just superficial. If it's so not. you don't enjoy meeting people like this on the roads. Having a coffee, like we met Pedro in Portugal, we met the enemy. Yeah, in it's nice. We met it's nice, but it's so frustrating in, uh, to to have connection with someone, and you know after you're not gonna see it like for. Then it's just frustrating. What do you think? Is, what, what? So you don't take anything away from it. You don't feel like you're learning something. You're hearing a new story. You're getting a different perspective. Yeah, I from learned someone. something, but it's frustrating. What makes it frustrating? Because it's you don't see that when you appreciate a person, you want to see this person. You, but you have to see this person in your life. I mean, for me, it's like this. But well, you can't you can't have a, a close connection with everyone you meet in life. Yeah. But you can, like, you can still learn from every single person you meet. Everyone has a story and something to teach you. And that's what I enjoy about traveling like this and meeting people. Yeah, but it's for. Learning for some for some th for some people, uh, I need to know them first. So, uh, Pedro, for example, in Lisbon, who took us on a tour, you didn't know him. Yeah. You didn't enjoy that. Yes, I enjoy that, but um, like I say, it's it's just frustrating because you just uh, you just learn a little bit for the the people if you, if you appreciate it. Yeah, well, you're not you, gonna see you, it. You after, still have so. you, you still have a connection with them. You have in, you have his contacts. So if you yeah. come back to Portugal, you still you know someone there. If he goes on a trip, you have a, a place you could meet him for a coffee at your place, mm. and you see them again. You don't have to have a, a daily contact with everyone. All yeah, the time. of course. But for me, it's it's like you know like people. I say it's, yeah, just for me, that is that is the one of the biggest reasons I travel. I think is I've, I've been traveling on and off for ten years now, and I met so many amazing people all around the world from all kinds of cultures and countries. And like you meet them, and you have a a good and fun, interesting moment together. You create some memories, and then you go your separate ways. And then five years down the line. You're traveling again and you pass through and you know someone who lives in an area and like, hey, remember me from this and this place. You up for a coffee and you can catch up with them again. Mm. That's what I really enjoy about traveling. And I've, I've done that with so many people uh, around the world. Yeah. And I, I feel like I have, well, depends on your definition of friends, but I, I, I look at them as friends all around the world. For me, it's like when you say you have friends, and you have the friends you can count on your hand. Yeah, but that, that's different. Like, it's different. But for me, it's like... Because when I go in a... Not relationship. Uh, even friend relationship. Mm. I go deep. Like, it's it's me. So... Uh, it's... It's require too much energy or too much to... Keep contact to... Yeah, I... The, the the keeping in contact part I really suck at too. Like all my all my closer friends are uh, upset with me because I suck at staying in contact. Mm. But it's um, I'm not suck at it. But no, you, 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 I'm not capable of doing it. 
properly, like I want to do, with 15 people. Like. I'm not capable with one person, the way I, yeah. I probably should do. So my closest friends are uh, upset with me for, for that reason. But mm -hmm. I have a lot of not so close friends around the world yeah. that I, I find it easier to... I, I don't stay in contact with them all the time, but mm. I feel like we're sort of friends so that whenever one of us reaches out, it's always good and we are happy to see each other again. Yeah, yeah, Help each other out if we need that or whatever it is. That's, that's the main reason I travel, I think, is to meet people and, and get new experiences. And especially, I like to hear people's stories because everyone has a different story. And I feel like I'm, I'm learning myself. I'm learning about myself by listening to other people's stories. Yeah, but for me, for really listen to someone, I need to know, like I say, I need to know. Well, of course, the more you know someone, the more you understand them. But the it's story not really is understanding. There. And you know if it's, if it's, <laughs> he say to you, it's true or not too. <laughs> but still, even if it's not true, you can still learn from it. Like you can reflect on what's being said and, and try to apply it to your own life. I don't know. Because for me, I get bored very fast if the if the relation is not really deep and not interesting for me. I don't waste my time. Like if if I don't like the the, the people, I don't stay around just for. No, if you don't like someone, but well, have you yeah. met someone you didn't like on this trip? No, but. I meet some people, like I don't want to see them again after, and I just stay around because yeah. it's that's also a learning it's experience. It's polite, it? but that's also a learning experience. No. Yeah, because you learn okay this behavior from this person. I don't enjoy. But I already know that. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a <laughs> but you, like you, you can try to notice like specific things, or you can listen to what they say. They're their point of view and and try to take something away from it no <laughs> yeah <laughs> have you learned something about yourself on this trip no just the confirmation of so <laughs> of something but that's it <laughs> confirmation of what i don't like city <laughs> I don't like surrounding by a lot of people. Yeah, it's just the camping part. You enjoyed that? Yeah, I enjoyed the camping part. But I, I knew before this trip, it's not gonna be a problem. But this was a new experience for you, or or was by, it? Uh, this amount of time, yes. Yeah. Because I just camped for one night. You didn't learn something from this experience, camping, everything. You learned to cook. You never cooked before. I, I, I thought you had to cook. <laughs> I I uh, I know how to cook. It's just <laughs> when you are alone at home, it's just fucking boring to cook for one hour just for you and eat in ten minutes. It's just fucking annoying. Yeah, I agree. But you don't have to cook for an hour. Yeah. There are things you can make there much faster. Than but that. again, if I cook, I cook. I really cook. For <laughs> making some pasta and some. It's not cooking. It's just. <laughs> If you make a yog uh, yogurt cake, it's not cooking, it's just basic skill. I mean, really cook. <laughs> <laughs> what I learned from the camping part, yeah. Um, yeah, for this amount of time, it's a little bit tricky, especially when you are on the road after... Uh, have, it's difficult when you come to have proper rest. Yeah. Because your, your sleep depends on many things, depends on the weather, depends on... The noise you uh, you when you change spot like this every time, so it's difficult to have a really good good. Don't sleep bad, but mm. it's not the same rest like I have at home. At no. home, yeah, of course. No, of course. For me, I, I struggle to sleep too. I, but that's not <laughs> that's a different problem. I used to sleep very well, mm. but after everything that has happened in the last few years, I I haven't slept. So that's a big, big issue for me as well, big struggle. Mm. I feel like for the past few days now, I haven't slept for four, four or five days now. Yeah. And yesterday I was, I was completely dead. I'm just and for me, no energy. If I have a recommendation for that, 
for some people who want to go in the trip. <laughs> uh, it's like take proper gear for the the part of the camping stuff. A good sleeping bag and a good sleeping yeah. bag. Yeah. It's and important. don't I, I don't have the word in English. Yeah, make give the money for good stuff. Like really, because if you rest, you can enjoy the rest. Yeah, that's true. It's the sleep is really really important at least for me yeah absolutely because if yeah, i don't have enough sleep i don't i'm not in a good mood um, and yeah it's difficult to enjoy the, the rest yeah, absolutely even someday on on road i don't know if for um, a lot of people is like this but at least for me for some day even on road i just feel really really confident and someday I'm just sick at it. Yeah, the feeling is is different. Yeah, it's yeah. So strange. It it's depends only, on, your, on your only for on the, the bike, huh? uh, like this. It's really yeah. strange. It's the same for me. Like some days you feel good and confident, and yeah. uh, and and some days you're just struggling and you feel unbalanced. And I, I think that's also down to your rest. If you feel rested, yeah. you feel confident on the bike. If you if you're tired, yeah. everything becomes a struggle. So really, like. Sleep well. Yeah. We haven't really stayed in too many hostels. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoy staying in hostels because yeah. we meet people, but you want uh, peace uh, and I quiet. I mean, in Antibes, for example, I, I really enjoy all the people we meet there. Mm -hmm. But like I say, for me, it's it's too much people. Uh, my brain, I have to focus on so many things and it's impossible. Uh, I can't, no. And it's ex really exhausting for me to really go in deep in the conversation with so many people. Mm. I'm not capable. And the noise, and it's too much. I, I need to, when I, and it's about to sleep again, I really need privacy. I don't sleep if I sleep in the same room with 10 people, like it's, or even four. Mm. Like all my life, I, even since I was a kid, the colony, colony thing. Um, when you're going uh, on vacation with a lot of kids. Um, okay, yeah. Mm, yeah, I don't enjoy that. It's, it's always been like this, so... I need to have the privacy, so... Yeah. Privacy is so, nice, yeah. but... I don't really enjoy your hostel. Yeah, I, I also enjoy my enjoy privacy, and it's nice to have a a, a space to yourself. Mm. But it, I like the combination again. I like I like the difference. Like sometimes I like to be with people and meet people and hear their stories and everything. The hostels are perfect for that. So if I have the energy, I love staying in hostels. If I'm tired and just feel shitty, then I want to be alone. Mm. For me, I don't always want to be alone. <laughs> like, I got. I, I prefer to camp. I, I would I would camp every single night if I could, but because of the I have to make videos and I have to work and stuff, I need to charge things. Yeah, of course. And uh, I need internet and uh, all of this. Yeah. So that's why, I, uh, yeah, this trip would be a lot cheaper <laughs> if uh, yeah. if I could camp every day. Yeah, and this is uh, the part is difficult to enjoy too. Is for, for at least for me. It's uh, but I know uh, I know before going on this trip. So it's staying in the place, on the same place, like for many days. Mm -hmm. whew, that was difficult. You, you don't like that? Yeah, no. So staying in Barcelona was a struggle. Yeah, a little bit. You had to wait for the mirrors. Yeah, fucking mirrors. <laughs> and I hate the postal uh, system in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> really, really hate it. Yeah, that's not, not the most effective. Yeah. And not the most uh, cheaper <laughs> fucking teeth. <laughs> you get really annoyed by <laughs> a lot of <laughs> yeah. a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Space, Spain is not definitely not my country. Like, <laughs> it's like a, so far away from. Uh, it's been funny traveling with you <laughs> because. You get like super pissed off by everything <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't do anything but laugh. <laughs> like, okay. 
<laughs> well, sometimes it's, it's annoying, I know, but you're gonna regret me after, you know. You're yeah. gonna think about me. Yeah, I will. And you see some situation like yes. every people are. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm always gonna. Uh, Jonathan would hate this. <laughs> every time I say something. <laughs> It's 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 me. It's just it's not because I'm French. It's, it's just. Me. <laughs> but being French doesn't help, does it? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what has been your best experience, your best uh, memory from from this trip? You think? Meeting Edimir. Cool. Edimir is a great guy. Yeah. No, I think it's the best. Uh... I really, really enjoyed that. You got to know him a little bit better than me since uh, we, when we stayed there. You stayed with him for a couple of days. Mm. But like I say, yeah, I spent time w w with him, with yeah. his girlfriend, uh, with his friend. And I really like this, like, because you, you go in really deep in the relation. It's, it's difficult to get to know someone deeper without staying in the same place for some time. Yeah. Yeah, so I have the chance, and it's now, like I say, it's my best memory of this trip. But it's happened because we stay uh, yeah. uh, at the beginning. I, I, well, that's, I that's do also something I don't like. But yeah, but, but see, doing something you don't yeah, like know. can lead to something I know, really but cool. Still, still, it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's just luck. Like <laughs> it's a bit how you look at it. Everything bad you can look at as a positive thing. Or a bad thing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> depends on how you want to feel. Mm. You see this trip? How? <laughs> this trip. It's not really a trip for you, but... No. Yeah, for me it's been... Um, yeah, this, this, this has been a, a, a great experience for me. It's, um, I've never traveled with someone. Uh, well, I traveled with Pia, and I've been on one trip with uh, Elias and, uh, and Christian. Uh, and I did a road trip many years ago with a friend. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I've, I've traveled alone. So I know what it's like to travel alone. Well, on a motorcycle, yeah. not so much. This is, this is also a new experience for me. But I know what it's like to travel alone. Uh, so traveling with someone is a new experience for me, especially someone I don't really know. Mm. And I feel like I know you a lot better now, but... Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but when we started, we didn't yeah. really know each other. And so this has been a, a learning experience for me. I, I've learned about myself, about how I interact with people. Mm. Uh, I, I've had to sort of reflect on things like... Instinctively, I would do one thing, but then I have to think, oh, I'm also with someone else, so I have to like double check or like see if you're okay with do mm. the same thing, or like you have to, yeah, you have to think about each other when you're traveling together like this. And we're very different, so not everything was going to be okay with both of us. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. That, is, that has been a, a fun thing to realize how different we are. We're very similar in many ways. Like yeah. we like our peace and quiet and and and, and those things, but we're very <laughs> very different in many ways too. Yeah, 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 true. It hasn't really been a big challenge. It's just been been fascinating. We've I, f I feel like we've had like mutual respect for each other, and we've listened to each other whenever there's been something, mm. um, and we've had a discussion about it, like whatever it, it has been, where to go, when to rest, when to, like. If one of us is feeling shitty, the other one understands and help yeah. out. Yeah. I think we've been a pretty good travel team in general. Yeah. Because the the opposite part makes the thing fun. Yeah. Like <laughs> and interesting maybe for, for for me it's been fun. For <laughs> you're you're complaining about <laughs> all the things all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's the one of how I, I say it, but I think but, my way of saying it is fun. Yeah, but it's like if I'm I was sure. because I I know I'm like this. Yeah. So I need to make joke on that <laughs> when I wear because if I let just my anger take the, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like I I could be annoyed mm. in a different setting in a different state of mind. I would be annoyed 
by the complaining all the time. But in this setting, and because I'm, I'm sort of, this is an experience for me. I'm, mm. I'm learning something. So I'm learning about you. I'm learning about like your how how you act and deal with situations and things and what annoy you. Mm. And so I I look at it as a as a funny experience instead. Mm. Yeah. So it's all about again perspective. Like I choose to look at it from the a positive and funny perspective instead yeah. of being annoyed by something. And I, I guess you're doing the same. Yeah, yeah. I try to do the same, not being pissed off by everything because you no. Know, Sometimes you like you have some yeah, reaction to Lis something. In Lisbon, it was very like <laughs> I like this to be very very not <laughs> making joke or on thing like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I can see that. That was uh, fuck. So was the the limits like. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking people is dirty as piss everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, actually, it's uh, I I mean it. I still mean it. <laughs> I really I don't like this city at all. But, but the motorcycle tour was great. Yeah, yeah, with I'm Pedro Lisbon. is yeah. uh, like for me, for that it's perfect because uh, Pedro, of course, know the place, so he goes straight to mm -hmm. the point, and and he avoid we avoid traffic because he know the place again, mm -hmm. so it was really cool. And I, if I have the possibility to travel like this and see some, but that's that's the thing you have. Now you have your Instagram and you've met people. Yeah. A lot of people have been starting following you. You've gotten invitations to go visit people here and there. Yeah, that, that's Accept really nice. Accept those invitations and then you get these experiences all the time. This is, this is the, what I enjoy most about the YouTube and social media part of, of this thing. It's getting these connections and getting invites to, to, to peop, random people and, and get a local experience. Mm -hmm. I, uh, with... With Pedro, he's been following me for some time on the channel, and uh, he sent me a message when we were getting close, saying, "Hey, I, I have time off here if you want to do something, and whenever I can, I like to accept those cha those invitations because you get an experience that you would never ever have yeah, yeah. without it." And you get to meet someone very interesting. And yeah, yeah, of course. Got to, to but this is why I say it's frustrating in a way, because uh, you have all this invitation, you like um, most, most of the, the people you, you, you meet, because they have this, uh, often the same uh, way of mind, mm -hmm. the travel, the thing, the bike. So, of course, so many points you are agree with. Mm -hmm. Uh, but like I say, it's frustrating because you want to know more, you want to spend more time with us, but it's not... But that's the thing, you can spread it out. So now you've met, take Pedro as an example, he's the most recent person we met. Yeah. Um, now you've met him, you know him a little bit. He um, enjoyed taking us around, I think, I hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we really enjoyed spending time with him. Yeah. Uh, he likes to travel. He probably wants to go through France sometime. Now he knows he can uh, he can meet up with you when he travels through your region. Of course. You see, you see him again. Mm -hmm. If you want to do the north of Portugal at some point in a year or two or whatever, you have someone there who likes to ride, who can maybe show you around, give you some tips, mm -hmm. and you can go back and meet him again. Yeah. So even if you don't spend a lot of time with him at, at one time, over the next 10 years, maybe you meet him 10 more times. And then cumulatively, you've spent quite a lot of time with him. Yeah, of course, of course. And so that, that's what I feel with a lot of people that I've met. Like, I don't spend a lot of time in a, at, at the same time, but you spend a day here, two days there, and then you don't see each other for two years. Yeah, yeah, but then course. you see each other for a week again. And then, like say, if you know someone... It's because when you, like riding the bike and travel like this, for example, is really cool. Mm -hmm. And for me, I want to do that every day of my life. Me too. So <laughs> that's what I'm trying to ma to make happen. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like, for example, this is why it's difficult for me to find a job. I for me for many people, I think 
because they wait the weekend yeah the rest day like the the for I, I don't say it's like this for all the people but i think most of them is like this you don't really live during the week you live when you rest like the the your your day off yeah and, and it's the same you, you because you want you like riding uh, i don't have the possibility of riding every time but i try because i sell my car for mm -hmm. example uh, so for me when i like something i want to do that like every minute every second like you go all in all in so yes uh, it's yeah. this is why i i struggling <laughs> with enjoying a fraud because yeah. i need to be all in in it and doing like really great thing for really enjoy it i have the, all the panel of yeah yeah l l like you say i need to really be good at something for enjoying it if not it's not I know it's just me. Yeah. Do you do you like that, or do you wish that you you could enjoy smaller things or like simpler things, or enjoy things from the beginning? I mean, I think if I'm like that, it's because I like. Uh, if I'm like this, yeah, it's because I like this. Okay. Yeah. I, I think uh, if I have this state of mind, it's because of something like it's not happier in. Uh... For me, it's I I have a like I am a certain way, but I wish I was a different way. Uh, I, I, there are many things that I would like to do, but I don't enjoy doing them, and I wish I enjoyed it because then it would be like, I, for me, uh, mechanics on the bike, mm. I hate it. I I fucking hate it. Yeah. Changing tires and change. I, I have absolutely zero interest in anything re relating to motorcycle technical things. I don't care. The only thing I I, I like about a motorcycle is riding. Yeah, I just yeah. want to ride. Yeah, me too. All the other things is just ugh, it's just, just a hassle and annoying, mm. uh, and I, I don't have an interest in it. And so, since I don't have an interest in it, it's very difficult for me to learn it. But I I need to learn it because I feel a lot more confident riding and traveling if I know how to change a tire. Because now I, if I get a flat now, and I don't know how to change a tire, what the hell do I do then? Mm. Right. So I have to learn it, but I hate learning it because I don't have an interest in it yeah but i i wish that i could enjoy this part of it mm. and i try to enjoy it but no matter how much i try i still hate it yeah i understand and this is also a, a, like a struggle for me with like uh, uh, this this thing this youtube channel and everything um it's uh, for me uh, my attempt now at trying to find a life that I enjoy living for the rest of my life, however long that will be. And I've, I've, for all my life, I've, I've worked. So I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of work. I've, uh, I've worked my ass off all my adult life. And since I was 13, I've been working. Um, so th that's not what I struggle with, but I struggle with the the discipline it takes to read because this youtube and and trying to make money off of this is the you need to to read a lot and to learn a lot reading and i'm 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 not dyslexic but i don't learn by reading so i can i can read a page 20 times i don't retain any information there and so learning all of these technical things about the algorithms and all of these things it's I, I really, really struggle with it and I, I hate it, but I wish that I could actually just sit and in, actually enjoy and find fascination in, in learning it. But since I don't, it, it's a big, big struggle for me. And now I don't make money, a lot of money on YouTube. I make a little bit of gas money. And thanks to a lot of you Patreons, um, I, I, I get to have a hotel room every now and then. So it's a little bit and it helps a lot but it's not enough to keep traveling. So if I want to keep traveling, I need to, I need to get better at this. So for me, this is the big struggle. It's learning how to travel while working this way. Because physical work, I'm, I'm good at. I can do that all day. But work where you, that requires your brain and, and reading, 
mm. is really, really, really difficult for me. Because it's boring, maybe, for you, no? Yeah, it's, it's, it's boring, but it's, it's also, I, like, I have absolutely no interest in it. And since, and it's like, I, I struggle to get out of my own head in this, like, where you need to feel uh, confident when you, before you start doing something. Like, you need to, before you can enjoy something, you need to feel confident in it. Mm. Uh, I can't, I, I struggle to enjoy something if I don't really understand it. I, when it comes, and when it comes to, to, to things like this, the computer things and numbers and, and like these technical things, I, I feel so stupid and I'm, I'm really struggling. I, I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy the journey of learning how this thing works, mm -hmm. but I don't understand it. And I, I find it so frustrating. I have to spend time learning it, but I am not enjoying it at all, and I don't understand it. And since I don't understand it, I find it really hard mm. to find motivation to to keep okay. keep learning yeah. because it, the information doesn't go in. I can I can sit for ten hours reading and studying something, but the, my my brain is empty after. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm good at physical things. That I can do forever, but mental things, I, I, I feel, I feel like an idiot. I feel stupid when I do computer things. And that's uh, that's probably the biggest challenge for me uh, on this journey. Right? Your biggest challenge was the off-road part and and the feeling confident there. Mm -hmm. And you're very good at computer stuff, and and you're good at or being organized and being like mm. chop chop chop. Uh, I'm the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm not afraid of doing anything physical. Like when it uh, comes to do with, when it has to do with anything, anything like physical, I just go for it. Uh, no, no hesitation. Just fuck it. Let's try. But when it comes to the technical parts and having like being organized and being structured, mm -hmm. pff, my brain is chaotic. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It it shuts down. And so. This is a huge, huge challenge for me while on the road. Yeah. And like you've, you've, you've seen editing the videos and everything, I, it's been, I spent a lot of time on the computer, but it takes me so much time to do everything. And then I feel stressed and I'm not enjoying the, the trip the next day because I know I'm, I have to make a video yeah. uh, and I'm, I'm getting nervous because the videos are catching up and I don't have more, uh, more planned ahead. Yeah. And, yeah, that has been the biggest challenge for me, I think, on on this on this trip. The physical parts and the, the the adventure and the challenges, that part is easy. That I enjoy all of it. Mm. But it's the trying to make this a a job. Well, job. I don't know. Yeah. Th that's what's really really difficult for me. Of course, it's difficult to enjoy if you you know you. You don't have many events on the video. Yeah. You have this plan of two videos a week. Yeah. And if you're like this, of, I need to me make this video and you are on the road, you don't enjoy what you actually do. Exactly. So th that's, a, that's a, a big struggle for me. But I. This is why I, I'm like this for many things. Yeah. Because if I know. That's also, I, I wish I was. I wish I, I will manage to be organized, but I, 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 I don't, I'm not able to. I've tried so many times in my life to actually, okay, now create a structure and I sit down and I plan out, okay, this is how I do it, blah, blah, blah. Mm. It doesn't work. But I think it's not, this is why yeah, we, are, we see so many different people, but I think you can work on it, but I think you're like this or no. Yeah, I think it's a personality trait. Yeah. It's hard to... Because I, I never, when, even when I was a teenager, when you go, enter in my, uh, my room, um, it's not chaotic. Never be chaotic. Never, never, never. <laughs> I'm always be like this. <laughs> Mine was the opposite. Mine was chaotic all the uh, time. Uh, this is the same with the, my way of thinking. Like need to be perfect. It's just always like this. Always. Yeah, makes sense. So I think it's the yeah your personality. You can work on it, but it's not yeah. Yeah, it's. I'm it's gonna tricky. change that in in a month or. Yeah. Uh, how how has this uh, how has it been for you being on YouTube and getting all of this uh, <laughs> this attention? 
You've never had social media or anything like that? I hate social media. <laughs> well, I tried Facebook when Facebook uh, just started. Yeah. Like I was in the high school. Uh, and I stopped after one year because I already see the shitty thing like when people just... Uh, it's become with the, like people start to make photo of the what they actually eat or st yeah. stuff like this. <laughs> and I was so annoyed by that. And again, for the pr privacy, because you don't yeah. have any, any privacy. Like. True. And it's, it's like the contest of... Uh, this is why... I, I know it's not really like this, but... Uh, it seems like... Um, uh, when you meet some people, like they travel like this. For me, sometimes it seems like it's a little contest of which one has the most travel, the most experience. Uh, oh, I, I do this country, this country, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's annoying me a little bit. <laughs> you feel like people are competing with Sometimes, yeah. yeah. And I know so for some it's true. Yeah. A lot. Be because like, for example, um, it's difficult to enjoy, like for me, uh, the off-road part because I see many people like really doing crazy stuff on the bike. Mm -hmm. And even if I know it's not a contest, it's me. And they are on the bike since they are three years old. It's become a contest. Yeah, you see these Instagram reels where people taking the Tenere or Triumph or whatever up a mountain and mm -hmm. jumping over things and you want to do the and, same. And before sh the social media, for example, I... Uh, and I think it's, it's like this for, for many things, but um, I remember enjoying many things. Uh, it, it was always the same, like uh, I feel I'm good at it, so I enjoy it. But now, if I take the same skill I have at this time with social media and compare myself to others, I feel shitty. Yeah. It's And I fucking hate that. Yeah, you can never compare yourself to what you see online. Yeah, That's but it's uh, so difficult. It is, yeah. It's so difficult. It's like the same for the advertising you see at the TV. You see, you, you know it's bullshit. <laughs> but if they put a song in your fucking head and the fucking brand in your head like uh, 50 times a day. Yeah. Even if you don't trust that, even it's in your brain. So tomorrow I want to to buy some some drink, uh, buy Coca-Cola. Yeah. yeah, of course. But how has this this been for you now then being suddenly back on social media and YouTube and everything? Have you felt any difference? Are you starting to feel negative about it? Since you say, you say you're comparing yourself to the motorcyclists on Instagram. No, the good part is when people try to... to... Uh, to be kind and... Uh, try to help you in your struggle. And mm -hmm. it's, of course, it's nice. But for me, again, it's not... You don't know if it's just for kindness or it's really true. This is why I don't trust when I see some comment and say, you're doing good. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're a bit uh, cynical that way. Like, I, I, I tend to, like, if people say something, I, I tend to trust them. Like, it feels so much better automatically trusting people than not. So I choose to, to first trust people but then also be prepared for being fucked. For me, it's the opposite. I, it's um, like, I, in the back of my head, I always know this person might be an asshole mm -hmm. and just putting up a front. But the, the likelihood of that is small because the vast, vast majority of people are good people and they they have good intentions and then you have every now and then you have an asshole so for every every 50 great experiences i have i have a bad experience mm -hmm. and it's but that's worth it so for me putting up the trusts beforehand is worth whatever 
happens th those few times where it backfires. For me, it's the opposite. <laughs> I prepare to fight, and if it's good, uh, I let it go. <laughs> That's interesting. What's it like for you guys? <laughs> Have you ever thought about these things? <laughs> yeah, I think people are more like it. <laughs> that. Yeah. Has it been weird seeing yourself on uh, on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> what has been the weirdest part of it? Or... Uh, yeah, this is the aspect I don't really like too, because sometimes you don't in the mood to film something. Or, yeah. Or to... Yeah, and always think about this. This is the the thing I I hate too. It's uh, before this trip, for example, and when I see something, I try to really enjoy it directly. If I have something mm -hmm. uh, in front of my eyes, I want to keep the moment in my brain and not having this reflex of taking my phone and take a picture. I hate that. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I understand it's it's a good thing too to have picture for some memory, but I hate I hate, uh, and I try to not having this reflex. For me, it's it's kind of the opposite again. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I, I I I I like to be in the moment and and like whenever I'm experiencing, if it's a concert or whatever it is, if it's a beautiful view or a tour of a city or whatever, I like to be there in the moment and experience it. But for some reason, I don't experience it while I'm there fully. Even if I like, I don't pick up the camera or anything like that. Mm. I see it and I experience it, but then it disappears out of my brain. I don't remember the experience. Mm. And so, for me, I have a, the better experience when I look at it after. So when I sit and edit the videos, or uh, or like watch the video uh, uh, half a year later or a few months later, that's when I have the best experience. Because then all the memories, all the instincts, all the smells and whatever impressions that I get, they come back to me. And I have time to sit calmly and reflect on what I had experienced. Because you see a picture or like something happening on the video and it, it sparks a memory. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. That, that guy came on stage and, and did that or Oh yeah, that that boulder was really tricky, and mm. uh, but I managed to get around it, and you actually get get to reflect on what's happening uh, after the fact. Mm -hmm. But when it happens in real time, it goes by so fast that my brain doesn't really take it in properly. Yeah. So that's why for me, having the camera there gives me the experience twice over. Kind of, I have the experience yeah, yeah. there, but having the camera there gives me the courage to actually do it. Because mm. without the camera, I probably wouldn't experience it in the first place. Like, yeah, like you know, I, 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 like for me, I'm, I really struggle to get out of my own head. Yeah, it's like but. I, I, I don't want to do anything, and so I, if I don't have the camera, I'm just gonna stay inside. Yeah, yeah. it's a motivation for yeah. you too. Okay. And so I use the camera as a, a reason for me to experience something. And then being able to watch it back. Mm. It, it it's like the same when we say, because I love being alone, for example, and stuff like this. But it's really true. It's, it's good to travel alone, but uh, you always have, at least for me, the feeling of you're more happy when you can share something. Yeah. I really I mean, Pedro, enjoy that. I think Pedro says that. Yeah. I think it's Pedro. Uh, and it's fucking true. Yeah. Like Because you are like this and you want to share that immediately with someone. And it's like every time I have a, a bad news, in uh, bad news, a good news in my life, and so, uh, you want to share it. Mm -hmm. You want to, to share this, this, this feeling, this... Uh, for many reasons, but... Yeah. Um, that's been good uh, when, when we've had cool experiences and we've sat in camp and mm. made dinner and talked about the day and what we, what we did and saw. Yeah, yeah. That has been a really, really interesting part, I think. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting to hear, like you experience something and you experience it your way. But then in camp, in the, in the evening, you sit and discuss and you realize, oh, mm. we experienced the same thing very differently. 
And so you get two different perspectives on the same thing. Mm. That I found really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so this is why uh, you, you, you like filming because you can share with the, the people and I get it, yeah. of course. And for me, I, I, I think I'm not like this because I have a, I have a very good um, photographic memory. Yeah. Like even uh, when I was in school, I, I remember I learned my lesson, like it's print in my head. Yeah, that's probably like y your neat freakiness or like your uh, perfectionist thing yeah. probably comes from that. And, and me in school was chaotic. I couldn't pay attention to anything. Mm. I've never been diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I have something uh, like ADHD or something like that. Because mm. my brain is a ping pong ball all the time, 24-7. Even when I sleep, mm. I'm, a, I'm a ping pong ball. That's why I probably never sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's why I, I struggle to take in experiences as they're happening. Because I focus on too many things. Mm. For me, it's a little bit the same with the, all the people. Mm. Like I say, uh, I feel tired. Yeah. Because I need to focus. Yeah, I, I understand. It's like since, you're, since you need to have things in order, being overwhelmed by many impressions at once, I can't. it's very tiring. Mm. For me, I have a thousand impressions all the time. And for me, it's tiring to have to focus on one. Mm. It's, I, <laughs> when I have to really focus on one thing, I get so tired and I, I really struggle because I like, okay, now I have to focus on this. Yeah. And then I like, I, whatever it is, I read something and I, I read one word and that reminds me of something else and I'm in a completely different world. Yeah. For me, it's peaceful when I need to focus <laughs> on one thing because I take all my energy on one thing. It's but it's bad when you come to our food because I'm scared about <laughs> falling and hurting myself. So my brain is how you can do it <laughs> without hurting yourself. Yeah. But you need speed. You need it's the, all the opposite you need to do for not hurting yourself. So it's yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, like, of course I don't want to hurt myself either. But I'm not afraid of hurting myself because yeah, yeah, like, right. I've been in so much pain <laughs> in my life that I I'm kind of used to it. So I know whatever pain I. I, I end up in it's I've probably experienced worse I'm not it's not really afraid yeah it, of course it's it's afraid about hurting myself but afraid of pain yeah more than other thing yeah of course I, I don't like pain either I I, yeah, I of hate course. It. <laughs> I hate it we, we love pain like <laughs> well some people do <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but, like obscure uh, <laughs> behavior okay <laughs> yeah no, but uh, that's, I, that's interesting how different we are in, in those aspects. But that we still get along pretty well. I, f I feel like we've been uh, a great team traveling. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. It was really good. Yeah. Anything so, else that we should uh, say to the people? What they learned from that. Yeah, good question. What have you guys learned from uh, watching us? <laughs> <laughs> This past couple of months. Uh, the French guy is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that French people complain. <laughs> Hopefully he leaves soon. Huh? <laughs> no, it's been uh, it's been really fun having you having you with me on this uh, on this this part of my journey. It's been a learning process, and uh, it's been fun to travel. With you, yes, I'm with me. And I've been. It's been interesting for me watching your progression because I see your progression. I see clearly how much better you are off-road now than you were when, and how much more confidence you have when you ride. So that has been very, very interesting for me to see. And it's mm. going to be really weird now, being alone again. Yeah, it's going to be very strange. I don't like know. To check the mirror. Nobody here. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't really know. I, I'm a little bit sad now because it's like I've gotten used to this, yeah. this having a companion there and uh, someone to talk to in the evenings, and it's gonna be strange to be alone again. It's gonna take this me some time to get used to. This is why maybe I want to go straight to to my my home. Oh yeah, because it's yeah, no, it's not the same. So I should... yeah, no, I, I don't know. Well, I Close guess... the chapter, in a way. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I get it. Well, I guess 
it's time for us to uh, get on the road. The temperature is starting to rise and... Uh, oh, fucking mosquito. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, scratch. It's like... I think I've, I have uh, 500 mosquito bites at the moment or something. Yeah. But, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed following uh, our little journey together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been really fun uh, having you with us and reading all the comments and uh, yeah, we really, really appreciate... Yeah. Uh, the funny part for me is that, reading yeah? the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I read all of, even if I don't respond, I, I read almost all of them. Yeah. Yeah, that has been fun. Um, if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up and uh, click subscribe and ring the bell if you want to continue following me on my adventure. Maybe you'll see Jonathan again at some point. We'll Maybe see. I start a YouTube channel. No, yeah, you know. should. Go for it. I don't know. You also want to keep traveling, right? You don't want to work in your hotel for 50 more years. No. 20 more years or however long it is. Go yeah. for it. Figure something out that you can keep traveling. That's what I'm trying to do with this uh, with this channel. Uh, the idea of be became a motorcycle instructor is really good, but I'm not. You need good, uh, a lot of training. Yeah. yeah, you can you can do that. Work towards that. So when you come to France in two years, you can uh, book a, a training session with Jonathan. Five five years. <laughs> okay, five years. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Which direction are you headed now? Now, right now, we're uh, in Spain again, right across the border from Portugal in mm -hmm. the south. Uh, I'm heading back up to Lisbon now. Yeah. And I need Where to go heading? straight to Redimir's place because I leave some stuff yeah. in his house. Odd stuff. And for seeing him a little bit before I go home. Yeah. Yeah. I guess uh, subscribe and ring the bell. And uh, we'll see you later. I, I will see you in the next episode. Yeah. Jonathan. Maybe in a few in Norway. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. It's not maybe, it's sure. I go in Norway. <laughs> yeah. In summer, definitely, but... <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. And, uh, peace. Peace and bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.